Hello, it's uh, Productronica Day 3, uh, 2021. We're watching you in Electronics TV. Um, I'm joined by Valentin from Nano Dimension. Now, you were, give me a little bit of background to this. Great to see you, by the way. Um, you were, two companies have merged to form something a lot bigger and more exciting. Can you talk me through it? Okay, thanks for being here, Ian. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's exciting. Uh, Nano Dimension is essentially a very young company. The company won the Productronica Innovation Award in 2017 for a 3D printer of electronics, one of its kind. Uh, but everything has evolved quite quickly. Nano Dimension secured uh, major funding, $1.4 billion, and uh, is now going to change an industry and bring the PCB industry to a more efficient, environmental friendly digital process. Uh, and on the way, we merged with SMTech. The yes. announcement is yep. just two weeks ago. Yep. And uh, SMTech brings essential capabilities to our process, pick and place and dispensing, that will fit together perfectly with additive manufacturing of electronics. So our future vision is that we will build three-dimensional electronics with complete embedded components and go away from planar shapes. Right. That's pretty revolutionary. Yeah. And, uh, well, congratulations on the award from 2017. I remember, actually, when that all happened. It seems it's strange, isn't it? I mean, with the whole pandemic thing, we've had a few years out with not being able to, you know, talk face-to-face, which is, you know, fantastic. We can actually do it now. So I guess, for you, this is quite a big launch platform. Yeah, Especially with the you know, merger being two weeks old. We also launched our new product, the Dragonfly 4, right. and uh, a new software that is called Flight, which integrates the world of uh, electronic cut and mechanical cut. So right. you can uh, design something in Altium, Souk and Mentor, and then load it over our Flight platform into SolidWorks or Inventor or NX, and change the two-dimensional layout to a three-dimensional shape right. and then send it to the printer. So you Fantastic. should come over and, and have yes. a look. Yes, yeah. And um, you're demonstrating that here then? Really? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so for, for us, um, still many people don't understand what we are actually doing. <laughs> so uh, for us, it's crucial to have a show like this because we have to explain a lot because it's so different. So, but we see great attendance on, on the booth, much more than we actually expected uh, uh, due to this uh, pandemic situation. And great conversations. And Good. people starting, well, first to learn that there is nano dimension, second to understand what, what we are doing, and, and the other thing is, especially in the merger with Edson Tech, they are understanding that we are getting deeply connected with the electronics industry. Yeah. Uh, and I guess. It's one of those products that you have to see it to understand it kind of thing. It's, so it's, it's yeah, fortuitous time you I actually, I actually have a sample here. Ah. That, that's an ultrasound right. sensor yeah. with, a, with a flip chip. Yeah. And what, it's very small, looks like wire bonds, is actually 3D printed electronics. Right. Okay. So... We, we are going to come with a complete new production yeah. process. And the great thing about this process is it's environmental friendly. We yeah. only use the material that we need. Right. What we need as an essential component is to have the pick and place yeah. and dispensing unit to integrate components like flip chips. Right, yeah. That's incredible. And what's people's reaction been to this then, to the show? Uh, well, fascination. Some are scared. <laughs> really, yes. Yeah. Um, but, but most of all, I, I feel that uh, we're starting to, to grow the ecosystem and, and the, the community. Yeah. We, we actually launched our joint venture together with Hensold, right. which was a customer. We found a company together that is called James. And James is an uh, online community platform for electrical engineers and design professionals to share ideas for 3D printed electronics and AME. Fantastic. And it's, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, this, the, the industry is moving to a more open and collaborative mode of working, yeah. isn't it? You know, it's, I think AI, IoT, all of these things coming together and, you know, people's concerns about security and privacy, all those questions are starting to be answered now, aren't they? Well, first, we, we're starting to know what the questions are. Yes. Uh, the, yeah. So our, our vision is a, a distributed network uh, of smart, 
self-learning and self-optimizing machines yeah. by, by the power of AI. So we have yeah. a, a deep cube group, a deep learning group that we will implement in all our right. machines, starting with the nanodimension machines, going to the SM tech machines and going widening the industry that allows real-time detection with, with deep learning of the process. And then we will, in the future, have a network of such machines that yeah. communicate and uh, at some point, probably not in three years or in five years, but maybe in ten years, uh, the world will be digital inventory. You will send files around the world to be produced somewhere at the place where they're needed, anytime, anywhere. That's phenomenal. And the industry wants that now, doesn't it? You know, it needs yeah. that speed, you know, everything we've been talking about here is about, you know, everything from fast prototyping through to fast production, which, um, no, it's, it's, it's incredible. So, well, I'm glad it's been a successful show for you. Yeah. Um, and uh, we've got another day and a half yet, so I'm sure there'll be a lot more people at your stand. So thanks for sparing the time to come and talk to us. And it was we'll a great pleasure. Look yeah. forward to seeing you at, uh, will you be at Apex in yes. the USA? Yep, well, we'll see you there then. So thank you for coming.